how y'all doing? It's Papa and David. And we're here because I want to pay tribute to 65 Ford. Now, if y'all ain't subscribed to 65 Ford's channel, you need to because that man is a freaking genius. He got cool stuff. He makes all kinds of cool stuff. He's a mechanical engineer. And he just comes up with the neatest stuff i ever seen in my life. And the most recent thing he came up with, I thought was pretty darn cool. But, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I like doing it cheap. And what he, the, the project he did cost him about $5. And I said, Lord, that's a lot of money. So I said, David, we, <laughs> we ain't going to spend $5 doing that. So it's going to cost us out of pocket a two and a half or three inch bolt, a couple of washers, a couple of nuts. Because this wood is scrap. Yeah, a couple of wraps of tape, but that don't amount to nothing. And a few screws. So we're going to do the same thing that my friend. Oh, you used the pipe. And this pipe, thank God it's been laying outside for the past 30 years. It was a, it's a huge sewer pipe. <laughs> but, but the odor's gone now. But it ain't full of it. But this is, this is three inch ABS. Okay. And you, and uh, you could use whatever, but, uh, I don't want to tell you anything until we get this thing built. So let's just get with it, shall we? So I asked David to dig around at his house, see what he could come up with, and he found us some three inch ABS. And I said, David, we needed some circles cut to fit inside that ABS pipe. So this is just a couple of pieces of three quarter inch pine. We've got some electrician's tape, just some black tape. We have some all purpose screws that we've cut down to the length we need. And a few drill bits to drill some holes and do some pilots and all that. So let's just get right with it. <laughs> I'm so excited to show y'all what this is. And I can't believe we've got a screwdriver bit in that drill. Okay. Well, we're going to need it. So, first things first, I want to drill holes in my wood. And that would be, ooh, that's a little big. Uh, that's close. It'll be all right. Okay. So, what I want to do is Drill through this wood in the dead center. A little bit separate there. David, you said these holes are centered. Uh, they centered. They will screw right in on them and they run together. Alright. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a washer underneath this hex bolt. Stick the bolt through the first piece of wood. Through the second piece of wood. Put a washer on the back side. And a nut on it. And we're going to get it good and tight. And then we're going to put another nut on here to help lock it down. So I'm going to let my lovely assistant, David, oh. take his wrenches and tighten the living fool out of this. Mm, oh yeah. While he's doing that, we're going to take this piece of pipe right here 
and we are going to drill some holes in it. for our all-purpose screws. And I'm drilling these holes about a half inch from the end of the pipe. And I'm trying to pretty much put them equidistant around there. Alright. Got that good good and tight? Good and tight. Good and tight. Oh, we'll, we'll put All right. Now put that nut on there and then use both lock wrenches it, and lock it. that sucker down good and good and tight. They're gonna leave us no? Yeah. yeah. Good and tight. All right. Now, got that pilot hole. Now that I've drilled a hole almost as big around as the, as the screws I'm using. in here but it's a little bit loose so we're going to put a few wraps of electrician's tape on this right here I'll let David my lovely assistant assist me with this she was bred in Kentucky he was bred in old Kentucky but he's just a crumb down here all right, see about that. See what we got now. See what that'll do. Oh, we're still a little bit loose. Let's just have a little bit more oh, put right. on there. We can do that. Matter of fact, go over right where the crack we'll go is. Back up. Up. Yeah, that's what we'll fix it. Go like over. A few wraps there. And... Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what we got there, Dave. Real close. Need a little now put me some more on this center this one right here. No, right here. Oh, okay. Bottom. Yeah. We're just sitting here enjoying the day. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Woo! I uh, I ate so much at my daughter's house for lunch. I come back here. I got back home. I don't know, three three thirty in the afternoon. I was gonna, I was gonna do a live stream because I had a bunch of folks I know that was lonely sitting at home alone on Thanksgiving, and I was, I'm sitting there at the computer, and I just, boom, out, I mean, out. So, I didn't do a live stream yesterday. It's gonna be tight. That's gonna be good. So, I ended up sleeping and waking up. Believe it or not, I woke up at five minutes to eight o'clock last night. And when I did that, then I couldn't get back to sleep. There you go. Okay, so what David's done is he's put enough electrician's tape around that where it wasn't quite perfect. Po body's nerfing people. But now then it's fitting in there snug. So we're gonna drill some pilot holes and that wood because we don't want it to split. Now then, where's the here he is. We're gonna try to put these all purpose screws in there. This is such a cool project. Oh this 
Y'all ain't gonna believe this once we get done. Like, what the heck are they doing? Now, what I'm doing first is I'm securing this. Then I'm gonna go back and do something else. I just wanna make sure I got all my all my screws in there. Okay, so we've got four screws holding this in, it's holding this in, and now then I'm going to take one out at a time and countersink for the head of the screw so it don't stick out. If you watch if you watch 65 forward you'll see how he does this but again if you're watching Pawpaw's channel and I like doing it cheap okay there's our finished product you say well what the heck is it well this is the cool part Okay. See how that spins in the drill? Yeah, that's good. All right. Good work. How about some grout seeds? Okay. We're going to shake up some grout sealer. Oh yeah, you just hear how, how shook up it is. Anyway, that's how you make yourself a handy dandy paint shaker. Or any kind of can, like especially a daggum uh, adhesive, spray adhesive. That takes forever to shake up. But that I flat do it to it right there. Take a five minute job and turn it into 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You ain't got to wear out your elbow or nothing else. Once it's made, it's made. You can lay it up on a shelf, bracket, whatever, and when you need it, you got it. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Say goodnight, David. Goodnight, David. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>